Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. Uh, in this video, this is Ubuntu 10.04, brand new, LTS, long-term support. And I am running it in Sun VirtualBox. Uh, this is version 3.1.6 R59338. And I have VirtualBox Editions installed. This allows you to do this. When you change the window, everything changes within the Ubuntu session like that. It's awesome to have, the graphics are better, everything's better, sound is better, all better, but to get it to install is a bit of a pain in the butt. It has changed a little bit from Ubuntu 9 to Ubuntu 10. What you ordinarily had to do is go to the terminal and do uh, run VBox editions from slash media slash, I think it was CD-ROM 0. That's changed in Ubuntu 10 and I'll show you how it's done. Now I'm assuming you've probably already tried to install VirtualBox editions and it did not work and that's okay because you can just do it from the uh, terminal and it's simple. If you went to uh, devices and install guest editions and all you got with this mounted drive here, that's fine. Applications, accessories, terminal. And uh, yours is going to probably be a little bit different depending on your version number, but what you do is do CD, uh, I think it's slash media. Yeah, slash media, ls-l. And you've got the floppy controller, and then instead of it saying CD-ROM 0, like I said before, it's the actual name of the volume, which is VBox Editions underscore 3.1.6 underscore 59338. But like I said, yours might be slightly different. Instead of 316, you might have a different version number. Whatever it is you have here, that's where you need to go. So, in order to install this uh, VirtualBox Editions, you go CD... A-D-D-I-T-I-O-N-S three oops one six like I said it's a pain to do so anyway now we're in the directory of the optical drive and the one that you want at least on 32-bit systems and uh, this is absolutely true in VirtualBox because you're probably running 32-bit VirtualBox is VBox Linux Editions dash x86 dot run. Now in order to get this to work, you do sudo while you're in this directory dot slash and cap you have to get the case exactly correct. I think you might actually even be able to copy and paste it. And if you can that would be really awesome. Copy. Ah, you can. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I don't, I'm not going to run it because I've already done so, but you do sudo, so you run it as a super user, dot slash vbox linux editions dash x86 dot run. Let it do its thing. When you get back to the prompt, exit reboot, and you'll have all the vbox graphics and uh, sound stuff enabled, and it makes your Ubuntu 10 so much nicer in VirtualBox. And that's it. Take it easy.